the ev scene in india is booming and there's a lot happening on the transportation front as well so we got a chance to get behind the scenes of oiler motors ev factory the commercial three wheeler business is a small pool with very few players and oiler motors is comparatively a new brand so much so that it doesn't even feature in this list of fada's retail sales in the month of july 2024 for electric three wheelers formed in 2018 this delhi based electric three wheeler manufacturer competes with the likes of bajaj mahindra and piaggio who are legacy manufacturers over here so to compete in this much coveted field for oiler getting the basics right starts from here this very plant built across 5 lakh square feet oiler's not so new manufacturing plant in palwal haryana has been operational for quite some time now built with an investment outlay of 100 crore rupees this plant reserves the capacity to dispatch 36000 vehicles annually with three shifts and boy must oiler hurry now just to give you perspective so 22 jan we launched the product and in 22 jan we sold roughly 300 vehicles then the next year uh, uh, financial year uh, we sold roughly 900 vehicles last financial year we sold 3600 vehicles this year we are planning to deploy close to 5 to 6000 vehicles this is oilers only manufacturing plant that will cater to the brand's national distribution after all the oiler high load ev is the only electric three wheeler in the market to be available with a disc brake The chassis of the vehicle is built from scratch and then the body shell of the high load EV is welded on. The battery and the electric motor setup gets attached and finally the interior ending with a dyno test run. And if you are wondering where Oiler sourced its battery from, well it has an in-house manufacturing unit for the same but a public view was not accessible. The vehicle then reaches the final quality check where experts keep in check if this thorough process was followed to the T or not. Once all done, the high load EVs are then taken not so far to the nearest tropical garage, which is great at mimicking the heaviest of tropical rains just to check for leaks. So yes, Oiler is gearing up to be on that list that we showed you earlier and get things rolling. But there's a lot of competition already. So how will the company deal with it? Oiler major focus has always been on the uh, diesel and CNG vehicles and how do you convert them to electric because that's the larger market instead of competing within the EVs. And when I'm looking at that, uh, Oiler has the one of the best vehicle as you mentioned. whether it's in talk whether it's in payload carrying capacity or performance it's not easy to deal with customers either and oiler is taking its time to get things right as well so uh, one of the things that if you see we have been uh, if you look at the load body like we have built multiple there are multiple kinds of customer there are customers who would want half load body which is catering to your retail market but then there are these e-commerce customers or fmcg they would want like a voluminous good the oiler high load ev is priced from 3 lakh 94000 rupees up to 4 lakh 20000 rupees which when compared to its competition is quite steep but it will all depend on how oiler makes an attractive offer and in fact one that consumers will not be able to refuse